Hey guys, welcome back. It's Redox. Thanks again for joining me here with another CNC Rivals video. And in this episode, I want to try using all the tech labs in our arsenal. So that is going to be the Wolverine, Zone Trooper, Sandstorm, and the Titan. We're going to use all of them in this army composition. Why not? It's just for fun and it should work out pretty well as long as I can get a tech lab up and early. So we're going to drop out all our barrack units and we're going to just keep our war factory as if I want to kill the opponent's harvester if I can possibly early on in the game. So we're going to go with this unit composition here guys. Every single tech lab unit and two war factory units, the pit bull and the predator tank that does damage to the enemy harvester. Let's see how this goes. I mean, we could end up losing many games here or we could end up winning, winning many games and this is a great map for rushing down the harvester which we are going to do send uh two pit bulls here early on um and we should have a good time as long as my opponent is not able to protect this harvester get that early crystal advantage he's got a missile spot coming up soon i see that barrack on that side but you can rotate these much faster pit bulls around the map as you guys can see that is what i'm doing rotate them around and my pit bull is attacking the base why okay so we're gonna go into our own chris own harvester now and Basically, I want to delay his launch pad from building here. He's not building a harvester at all until he protects it, which is good play on his part. Now we're going to build a tech lab. All right. And now he's going for his own harvester once again. And he's going to try to kill my har pit bulls here. And I'm going to still try to kill that harvester if I can. <laughs> Let's do the run, run around the rosy here. And he's got a whole bunch of infantry units, so the Wolverine is the right answer. Here we go, guys. Oh, and I'm going to be able to kill a second Harvester here, I think. I think so. There we go. Kill the second Harvester. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's go for another Wolverine. And I'm not letting him build any Harvesters here. That is what I'm doing. I'm not letting him build any harvesters here. I've got full control here on the map. Got a control on the missiles. And it looks like this man is not happy about the way this game is turning, guys. He's definitely not happy about the way this game is turning. And he's going to go for some zone troopers now. And the only counter are the wolverines. As I don't have a lot of anti-infantry units. But his zone trooper is at level 6. So it's very strong. Okay, I'm gonna... My Wolverine just ended up dying there because I didn't micro it very well. Let's send our Pitbull to the top. I'm gonna build one Titan. Okay. I mean, I probably shouldn't have built a Titan actually. But it has a lot of health. So I'm gonna see how well it does against a Zone Trooper that is weakened already. We'll go into another uh, Wolverine. Or maybe, you know what, I could go for Zone Troopers. I might be, I, maybe I should go into zone troopers instead myself. Okay, we're gonna build, okay, I'm gonna back up my Wolverine there again. As you guys can see, these Wolverines are getting torn apart by these zone troopers. Yeah, it's not looking so good. Come on, kill it! Yes! Yes, 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 that Titan is so beefy! We'll get the missile here, guys! Awesome. <laughs> Oh god. Yeah, these level 1 Wolverines destroyed. get torn apart by level 6 zone troopers. Not much I could have done there, but... Oh god, this tech lab strategy is amazing. Well, I mean, if it works, it works. And when it works, control. it works. But if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Three, That's two, really the three lines one. I have to say. And another amazing map to start off with our War Factory Pitbull Rush. I like his name, Too Tired to Care. Yeah, I guess you're gonna be too tired to care after this Unit battle. Ready. Let me tell you that, my friend. Alright, two pit bulls. Get us that early crystal advantage, build a harvester, and then a tech lab. And the shockwave is the wrong answer, my friend. Or he might have preemptively clicked that shockwave. That's probably what happened. He probably spam clicked that shockwave because that's a very um, standard opening most players go for, anyways. He's gonna go for another harvester. Am I right? Am I right? 
Yes, I am right. Not gonna let him farm here for a bit. Delay his mining as much as I can as Tech Labs needs some time. He has a lot of missile squads. That's looking a little bit dangerous. Hopefully he doesn't go for my, my Harvester. I'm gonna distract him. Yeah, I'm not gonna let him go for my Harvester. I'm going. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run around. Yeah, he's gonna start chasing my Pitbull. Very, very predictable. Because he's gonna expect me to go for the top again here. And he's going for his own Pitbull. Yeah, okay, we're gonna build one Wolverine to take out that unit. And he's going to most likely get the first missile here. I'm going to send one Pitbull to... You know what? I'm going to send a Pitbull here down to help my Wolverine out. And that missile turret is doing so much damage against my, my uh, Pitbull there. And I think I'm going to have to go for... Yeah, let's go for an early tank here. Let's go for an early tank. As I don't want those Pitbulls to do too much damage here on my Harvester, which is what he might be trying to do. I'm going to move my one of my Wolverines down south because I know he has a lot of infantry units. Uh, this strategy would work so much better if I had double Harvesters. That's what I have to tell you guys. Alright, let's go for yeah, let's just go, go for chip, cheap Pitbulls pit here. We're going to go for cheap Pitbulls. Ready. Yeah, because I really need to secure this launch pad or I'll end up losing the game. Unit ready. Unit lost. Yeah, I'm going to end Unit up losing the ready. game if I don't control Missile these launch canceled. pads here. And that is what I need to do. I need to control these launch pads. And let's see if I can kill another harvester here. Which he's not going to let into. Let me do that. Now I'm going. I'm going to have to uh, build. Uh, let's see. Let's build a sandstorm. Yeah. Now I have enough crystals to build a sandstorm. See, the thing is, if I save up too much crystals and not try to capture the launch pad here with my cheaper units, I would have lost the game like right away there. As he already had the first launch pad on me. And let's go for a zone trooper as well. Oh god, he's got the zone troopers on his side as well. I think at this point, yeah, I'm going to have to just go for a ton of zones. And he's going to chase my sandstorm around, isn't he? Very predictable. Okay. We're going to have to take out that zone. That zone trooper is the biggest bane of my unit composition here. Let's move a quick pit bull to that launch pad and just try to secure this missile. Yeah, we should be able to win now. There we go. <laughs> oh, yeah, the zone trooper is so annoying. Um, I'm almost tempted to take out my predator tank. Yeah, you know what? Let's take out the predator tank. I mean, the whole purpose of this army is to get out tech labs anyways. And I don't think I'll be using the predator tank too much if I even go for a no harvester opening there. Um, as the zone troopers are very annoying. I'm going to put in one shot wave. Yeah, let's do that. Battle, and uh, let's see what map we'll get. Control. This time we might get that other map, Three, basically where two, all the crystals are far four. away, and yes we do. New so this is not a good map for rushing. I mean, I could still rush, but the harvester is just so far away. So we're going to start off with a very standard opening here. And... I'm going to just save up all my crystals and build a tech lab. That's literally what I'm going to do. I don't think my opponent is going to harass me, but if he does, I'm going to drop in a barrack or the war factory and counter whatever he brings, whether it's a vehicle or an infantry right. unit. Go straight into tech lab. And this strategy works so much better if you can build a double harvester, like I said before, but as I am not level nine yet, I cannot do that. Um, and I am guessing he has infantry units. I can almost guarantee he's got infantry ready. units. So we're gonna go into Wolverine. He could have vehicle units, but I highly doubt it. I think he's got shock groups here. No, he does have does have vehicle units. Building online. That kind of that kind of sucks. I mean, can my level one Wolverine take out the level six Rhino? Well, I mean, it does fairly well, I guess. I'm gonna send one Pitbull to the top. We're gonna send another Pitbull across the map. I think he's got his own tech lab at this point. Oh, he's got level 6 Predator it takes. Run! Run! 
Run, boys. All right, we're going to have to save all our crystals for the Titan, guys. I mean, I don't need to build a Titan, but the Titan is so fun to use, right? I could go for the Sandstorm. Sandstorm is equally as strong, and it would take down Predator tanks um, any day. But, yeah. I'm going to run down another pit bull. And look at the amazing Titan here, guys. Multi-line damage. That is what I'm talking about. Okay, we are going to go for one zone trooper to the top. And he's just going for tanks. I haven't seen many War Factory users um, in the Silver League like this. I really haven't. So I'm actually surprised to see this guy going for so many um, tanks and rhinos. Definitely a viable strategy, but there goes down his little harvester. I'm gonna go for a ton of titans. I mean, because I've only seen vehicles. He's got Wolverines and he's got his own titan. Oh no, he shot me before I could even do anything. That's because I moved my titan, which was dumb. Instead of attacking that titan. And, ooh, okay, we're moving that zone trooper back. That's stupid turret. We'll build zone troopers and titans, boys. It's the battle of the titans. Literally, that was the battle of the titans. Uh, there we go, guys. He only had vehicle units. Easy game, boys. <laughs> yeah, roll in those tanks against my zone troopers. See what you guys can do against it. Nothing. Oh, God. The tech lab units. I love using them. But I rarely use them just because, you know, they're, they make the games easier for me. And we hit gold 3, as it seems like we're getting these 3 crates right now. It said that we are hitting the gold rank now. And we are getting a whole bunch of new unit cards, which I haven't used yet. And I think, oh, we've unlocked the drone swarm, that's nice. Might be able to use some of that later on. And I think it's about time I upgrade some of my units. Unless I go for this tech lab strategy continuously. Um, and we've also unlocked Dr. Liang now as I hit level 8. And in one more level, I'll be hitting 9, which means I will unlock the Nod faction. That as well. So there's going to be a lot happening, I guess, in the next video or two. But I guess it is, it is about time that I'll start leveling up my units. At least my common and rare units, because... I won't be using this tech lab composition every single game, of course. So that's what's most likely going to happen in my next video. I'm probably going to make a video on leveling units and my tips for you guys on that. Anyways, we will cut the video right here, guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed this once again, as like you guys enjoyed my other videos. Um, and I hope you guys are killing it on the battlefield. And I'll see you guys on the next video.